Well, tens of thousands of mail-in ballots are already starting to be returned to election offices across the state, but we won't know the results for weeks and possibly after Election Day. Even then, you might notice those counts are unofficial when first reported. Our Alex Osidis is on your side, taking you beyond the ballot to explain election results and how officials make sure votes are accurate. Election night, you see unofficial results. What does that mean and how do you know that election officials are making sure your ballot counts? November 3rd is election day, but really, that's a deadline. The last day to get your vote in. There's early voting and mail-in ballots. Of course, there's election day, but then there's also a 10-day period after election day when overseas ballots from service members are counted. Unofficial doesn't mean early results are wrong or a guess. It means the votes have not been officially certified by the supervisor of elections. It's a process that takes time. First, the machines that count the votes need to be calibrated for accuracy. Second, votes need to come in. And third, the elections office needs to address provisional ballots. Duval County Supervisor of Elections explains how the work begins at the precinct with precinct manager. The first thing she has to do is run a zero report. What is your count and if it's zero she can use that machine for that day fast forward to the election. we've counted all the ballots um, we've given the the public uh, the notification of what the count was what the results were we still have to do an audit elections aren't official until all the steps are followed and results are signed off which usually happens in december go beyond the ballot with us at firstcoastnews.com politics Reporting, Alex Osiris, First Coast News, on your side. Now to a race against the clock. Will your voice be heard in the November election? There are only four days left to make sure it is. The deadline to register to vote is this coming Monday, October 5th. You can still register in person at your county's supervisor of elections office, but you can also register online. Go to firstcoastnews.com, click on the voter guide for Florida or Georgia, and then scroll down to see the uh, question will ask, how do I register to vote? And you can find that section and we'll have all that information for you. And First Coast News is your elections headquarters for both Florida and Georgia. To get a voter guide sent to your phone, just text the word election to 904-633-8808 and we will send a link to your phone right now. It will include information on how to request a mail-in ballot as well.